Hey, what's up guys? It's Mr. Jensen with EdTech Integration. If you're anything like me, you're always looking for ways to save time within your day. Because if there's one thing that we don't have enough of as teachers, it's time. So in this video, I'm gonna show you four ways that you can save time grading within Canvas. So let's check it out. So the first tip that I'm gonna show you guys is actually more of a visual tip. It doesn't speed up grading necessarily, but it does help you see who is doing what in each class, who's doing well, who's not doing well. So it's like I said, it's a small thing, but it's something that makes a big difference for me. So as you can see in my Canvas course, I have lots of different grades, lots of different categories, et cetera. At the very end here, and I'm not sure if this is a default setting or if it just does this uh, randomly or what it is, um, we have the total or the grade for each student over here. Okay, so you can see that we have Fs, Ds, so on and so forth. I really like this next to the student name. So I don't have to scroll all the way to the other side, to the right side, to see what the student has in the class. So this is an easy fix. At the very top, three dots. We're going to move to the front. Okay. Now, if you wanted to, you could just take this box, you could drag it all the way to the front or where you wanted it. In this case, I really do want it in the front. So I'm going to move it to the front. Within the same um, tip, I'm gonna give you guys a couple other things here. Um, I really like having my grades to be ordered, okay? So I like to see my grades um, in clumps. So all of my A's in one spot, B's in another spot, all of my C's, so you can see they're in order here. Um, personally, the students that I'm spending the most time with, the students that I'm spending the most time intervening with are the students that have Ds and Fs and Cs, the students have missing work and stuff like that. So instead of having this, them start with just the As, the good grades up here, I actually like to see the opposite. So if we do the same thing, we're gonna come up here to the dots, we're gonna go sort by, and they're gonna go low to high. What that's gonna do is it's gonna put all of your Fs at the top, and then your Ds, and then your Cs, and so on and so forth. Like I said, not that I don't care about the A's. Um, these are the students that I just spend the most time with, the parents I spend the most time talking with and communicating with, and those kinds of things. And it does order it from the very bottom, so the lowest grade that you have to the highest grade that you have. Okay. So the second tip that I'm going to give you guys is how to fill in grades that are excused in a quick way. And I know this This is something that I've been requested to uh, talk about quite often from other teachers just because it's, it's really monotonous to come here every single time and click excused and then come here every single time and click excused. It takes a long time, especially, you know, for me, I have 246 students or something like that. So here's kind of a hack. It makes it a little bit faster at least. So if you type EX, so in here, capital EX, I select this and I control copy or control C. If I go down, I can go control V. I can do that a lot faster than if I was to do it any other way. So you can see how quick this is comparatively to going in the box. So control C, control V. Okay. So that my, that's my second tip, and you can go through and fill all these out. You get the idea. The third tip is how do I set a default grade for an assignment? So let's say, for example, I checked all of the assignments during class or all of the assignments were going to be excused or all the assignments um, were, you know, it's just a complete, non-complete. I just want everyone had done it. and I just wanted to put complete for all of them. So instead of coming through here and doing this where you go here, okay, they did it and he didn't do it and he did do it right this is monotonous it takes a long time you could do this in speed grader as well you can set a default grade here okay so if i come up here to the dots and i come down to set default grade it's going to ask you what's the default grade so let's say for example in class everyone had turned it in or everyone had done it or i'd seen all of them in class i want to just click on complete now it's going to ask you, do I want to override all of the grades that are entered? So the grades, if I had grades entered here already, it would override those grades. In this case, let's just say let's complete for all of these and let's not override. It'll take a second to think about it and then it's going to populate complete for all of these, for all 246 students or whatever I have. OK, 
Okay. Like you guys, not all of my assignments count. So this is a really cool thing. Um, if I know that students are here oh, for 190 in this class, if I know the students are here um, and they did it, it's nice just to go through and fill that out. It works the same thing for other assignments that have a grade. So this could be for a number of different cases. If you wanted to give everyone a 10 out of 13 or a 13 out of 13, or let's say, for example, you only had 10 left to grade or 20 left to grade or 50 left to grade. And you know that all of them were, were zeros, for example. So you want to set a standard grade of zeros. You had already graded all of them. So you didn't want to overwrite them. You wanted to just leave them as zeros. You could set that default and it would give all of those students zeros because they have not turned it in yet. All right, my fourth tip and last tip, I'm gonna throw caution to the wind on this one, okay? So this is not for everyone and not everyone, this won't work for everyone, okay? So up here, up here in the top right-hand corner, there's the gear symbol. If you click on that gear symbol, it will let you set policies for your courses. Okay, so it'll lot, let you set grade posting policies and then also late policies, okay? So what you can do is students that don't turn things in on time, so if the, the, the assignment due date was on December 1st and they turned it in on December 2nd, or let's say they didn't turn it in at all, they, they never submitted it, you can automatically apply grade for missing submissions. So if you turn this on, if a student misses the assignment or does not turn it in, it will automatically give them a zero out of 100 or a zero, uh, it'll give them a 0%. You okay? can change this to anything that you want. You can automatically do any derivative of these things. Okay? So I have it set as zero. Now, this one down here allows you to set deductions for students. So if they turn it in one day late, so you can say automatically deduct late for submissions. So late submission deduction percentage. So every day, in this case, every day that they're late, it's going to deduct it five percentage points. Okay. You can also set it by the hour as well. Every hour it's late. Five, that would be pretty brutal. But so in this case, every day it's late, it's going to deduct it five percentage points. So if they get 100% and they turn it in one day late, they'll get 95%. That's how many points are left. Now you can also set a low. Um, you can set it so that they can't get an F. So if they turn it in and if it's like a week late or two weeks late or three weeks late, they, they're still getting deducted points, but they never get an F or they never get below 20% or they never get below 70%. You can decide what you want to do for this. Hey, what's up guys? It's Mr. Jensen. Thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you guys supporting me. If you found this content valuable or you found this content helpful in any ways, please hit the subscribe button. It really does help me out a lot. I'm putting out a bunch of new videos here soon. If you have any videos or anything specific that you want me to put out, or you have questions about, please let me know and just put that in the comments. Thanks so much.